So you're thinking of moving to Soho in Manhattan. There's a couple things that you should know before making your move. What does Soho even stand for? So Soho stands for South of Houston Street. So what does that mean? That literally means that Houston Street, it's the neighborhood that's south. Now, if you compare it to NoHo, which you may or may not have heard of by the time you're watching this video, if you're new to New York City, NoHo is just the neighborhood that's north of Soho. That's how you kind of know exactly what Soho means because a lot of people live there and they have no idea what that even means until they get here. Just a little fun fact for you guys. Soho borders a lot of neighborhoods. It borders mainly like the Lower East Side, Tribeca, and the West Village, and also Nolita and Little Italy as well, which are very two small neighborhoods that I kind of forgot about sometimes. And also a little bit of Chinatown as well. So Soho can be a very, very touristy neighborhood. And the reason why is because it's like one of the shopping capitals, I would say probably of the world. Because of that, a lot of the big box stores that a lot of people know, like the very famous brands, are on Broadway in Soho. Because of this, walking around Broadway during the day, especially in the warmer months when it's really nice out, is absolutely so chaotic in Soho. Absolutely so chaotic. I actually would know because one of my offices is on Broadway in Soho and it's absolutely chaos. So I spend a lot of time in Soho. So you have Broadway, but then there's actually a street in Soho also called West Broadway. I want you to pay attention to this because a lot of people get this confused because Broadway is throughout all of New York City. However, West Broadway is only downtown. So it's something that you need to pay attention to because a lot of people are looking for something on Broadway then are on West Broadway or vice versa and they get very, very confused. So West Broadway is just a street west of Broadway. However, not directly west. There's a few streets in between. This neighborhood is made up of, I would say, mostly smaller apartments, at least when you're getting more in the entry level budget, but it's also very famous for loft apartments. Now, you might recognize the cast iron buildings in Soho. Also, not only is it the one of the capitals of shopping probably in the world, it's also literally the most cast iron buildings in a certain area in the whole world, which is actually really, really cool. And we'll put a picture of cast iron buildings so you know exactly what we're talking about. So there has been some new construction in Soho, but it's mostly in this neighborhood called Hudson Square, which is technically West Soho. It's kind of a separate neighborhood, but that's where you're going to find more of the new construction in that specific area. So something that you should also be aware of is that I find that Soho can get really, 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 really quiet at night, like almost too quiet. It's so busy during the day. There's just so many people on all the streets, especially on Broadway. But at night, it's like a whole different neighborhood. Like it's probably one of the most like contrasting neighborhoods I can think of in Manhattan from night to day. So it's just something you should be aware of if that, if you don't like that, or maybe you love that because at least you can get some peace at night. It's definitely not gonna be like really loud at night. Now there's a lot of really, really great dining in Soho. However, I find that it's kind of a little bit more subtle from a street perspective, the dining, because you could be walking down some of the top dining spots in Soho. However, they're kind of hidden. So you don't even realize what you're walking by where other neighborhoods, some of the top dining spots are kind of more in your face when you're like walking on the streets. There's a ton of dining in Soho. However, on West Broadway specifically, that's where you're gonna walk by a lot of like the alfresco dining. There's people, well, depending on the time of year, but there's gonna be people like in these small little cafes or cute little style like places and they're gonna be like on the streets. However, for the rest of Soho, there's a lot of good dining as well. It's just definitely more hidden and you have to kind of know where you're going. So that's just something to be aware of as well. I would say like if crowds do bother you, then Soho might not be the neighborhood for you. However, if you do like kind of the peace and quiet at night, Soho could be really great because you're definitely gonna get that in Soho for the most part. Unless you're maybe on West Broadway, that's the only area that does have like dining that takes place kind of like on the street level. So you might hear some of that, but even honestly compared to other neighborhoods, I really don't think it's that bad to be honest too. Like maybe certain times of the year compared to others, but overall I do think it's more of a relatively quiet neighborhood at night. So I would love to know, would you guys live in Soho? Like I need to know in the comments because I love hearing from you guys and getting your opinions because I really do think that sharing your opinions helps everybody in the comment section really kind of get a feel for the neighborhoods. So as always, I love hearing from you guys. So please just share your thoughts.